22 minutes after 11, I'm Nick Harcourt, your host. It is Morning Becomes Eclectic at 89.9 KCRW. We go over to the Village Studios this morning and check in with the Cosmic Rough Riders. It's Stephen, James, Mark, and Paul. Welcome, guys. Hi. Hi, Hi Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for getting off a plane from, uh, where were you yesterday? Tokyo uh, or Tokyo, somewhere? yes. Yeah. You don't know what day it is right now, sure. Um, No, we, we know that we're holding... <laughs> two guitars and a mandolin and so we kind of know what we're doing <laughs> thankfully but now, now you're going to do uh, uh you're going to do an acoustic set to start things off with i guess right and then we'll come back and we'll have a little bit of a conversation catch up with the cosmic rough riders talk about the new album too close to see far and then we have uh, an electric set coming up uh, in the second set right yeah yeah uh, all okay. the songs that we'll be playing today are from our new album too close to see far i'm going to throw it over to you guys it's cosmic rough riders on morning becomes eclectic it's our first track on a new album and it's called Justify the Rain. the first song that was written for the new album it's called Sunrise You gave me something to say put the words into my head and you were within myself let me follow i 
just needed something to belong to when I should have been long for you. It's been so hard to accept that the sun made me so blind. And I gave up trying to reflect when you should be on my mind. Staring at a sunrise when I should have been looking at you. And I just needed something to belong to when I should have been longing for you. Come on, come on, taking me over every way you should. Come on, come on. Something to belong to when I should have been long for you. I was only staring at a sunrise when I should have been looking at you. I just needed something to belong to when I should have been long for you. I was only staring at a sunrise. Staring at a sunrise. This next song kind of reminds me a little of uh, the Kinks, kind of sixties kind of vibe. It's called "She's Never Around." That she wants. I 
I'll give her everything that she wants. This 
One. It's the Cosmic Rough Riders on Morning Becomes Eclectic here at 89.9 KCIW, an acoustic set to start off with, with some songs from the new album, Too Close to Sea Far. We're talking with uh, Stephen, Fle- Stephen Fleming and James Clifford, Mark Brown, and uh, Paul Dougherty accompanying them. And, uh, well, let's talk a little bit about the Cosmic Rough Riders. You know, we've been playing uh, songs off a couple of your albums for the last, I don't know, three, four years, something like that. But the story of the Cosmic Rough Riders goes back to 1998, I do believe. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about how the band got together. Yeah, um, we uh, we actually met in a, a community recording studio in Glasgow called C Sharp Music Factory, which is basically a, a kind of government-funded um, project that would allow uh, local musicians who couldn't really otherwise afford to use a, rep- a professional recording studio to, to get together and write. So uh, I, I met there with uh, with Mark and Cliffy and uh, and Paul and uh, Daniel, our, our uh, previous singer, and. Um, one thing kind of led to another as we were recording demos together and we, we ended up doing the, the, the first record there and the, the second record was also recorded there too. So, so were you guys originally just uh, all there separately doing different things or was it one of those, uh, um, uh, I'm guessing from, from how you're describing it, uh, uh, I guess a, a government plan that sort of brings people together and, and uh, hopefully they do meet and form bands. What, what was it? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, we, we tried to... Uh, you know, I was working at this studio and we tried our best to kind of get young musicians together and uh, get them to work with each other. But, you know, uh, we've actually been in and out of so many bands you know, together over the last 10 years. I think we've been in about five or five or six bands, you know, stretching back to about 1995. Um, you know, Mark had played in previous incarnations of Cosmic Rough Riders before we actually took that, that, that name. Uh, so the thing is just kind of the, the, the grow through the years, you know. Did you did you know when you got together what type of music you you wanted to play? I mean, the 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 thing I guess about your music is uh, unlike a, a lot of other um, bands that uh, have been making music in the last five or six years. I mean, there's a melody that just uh, I don't know just comes through all of your songs. I mean, the harmonies that that you guys work on as well. Was this something you set out to do when you when you did get together? It's you know it's it's not an intentional thing. It's I think it it just kind of comes out that way because we've grown up listening to mainly. West Coast American music. You know, we grew up listening to the Beach Boys and the the, the Birds and the um, the Eagles. So that was the kind of things that our mothers were were playing to us when we were kids. So it feels really natural to play that kind of music. And there are there's so many bands that have came out of Scotland that also have that kind of West Coast thing. Um, you know, that that music is is kind of is deeply ingrained back in back in Scotland. It's funny though, you know, because when you think of uh, Glasgow, you, d- you don't think of uh, I don't know. There's there's, there's 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 no real comparison to to the West Coast, is no, there? No, no. I, I think it's it's probably a, a reaction to, you know, poverty. It's probably a reaction to living in a housing estate, um, and a reaction to living in a country where the sun never ever shines <laughs> and you can practically <laughs> touch the sky. It's so low. So um, right. yeah, we we kind of we dream of uh, being in the, you know, California and. Here we are. <laughs> and now you're here, exactly. Yeah. Nice one. Um, well, you put out a couple of records, as you said, that you recorded uh, in, in, the, um, in the studio there in, in Glasgow. You ended up getting a deal with Pop Tones Records, yeah. which was Alan, Alan McGee's uh, label. He's been a guest on our program a few years ago. Um, and then you went through a couple of changes uh, about two years ago, as you said, the original singer uh, of the band left. Did you guys know that you were going to continue on at that time? Was there any doubt? Yeah, no, there was absolutely no doubt whatsoever because we'd been play, playing in bands together for so many years. Um, we, we'd taken Cosmic Rough Riders on the road for about a year and a half, maybe two years, and uh, this was this was definitely you know what we what we wanted to do. So there was, there was no no question of kind of changing changing the name and changing the style of music, you know, because we were quite settled in what we were doing. So uh, yeah, no no doubt at all. So how did you approach the the recording of um, of the new album with your, your with yourself as the uh, the lead vocalist? Um, it, w- it was a fairly easy process because we, you know we have been used to recording together for for so many years. Um, we went in and recorded about half of the album 
or uh, as much older songs, songs that go back maybe five, six, seven years. Um, and the other half of the record was written more or less in, in the studio, so um, a bit of new and a, and a bit of old. And, um, try to, we try to experiment a little more than we did on the previous record. The previous record is, is, is definitely a studio record. You, you, you can hear that. Um, and we really try to capture more of what Cosmic Rough Riders were doing live. You know, people that had listened to the previous album and, and thought you know, perhaps we were some obscure American band from the late 60s. You know, they'd come along and see us and, you know, it would be, they would hear a rock and roll band. So um, th this record is, is more about veering towards what, we're, what we do live. Now the um, the album actually came out in, in Europe about a year ago, didn't it? It's yes. just come out just come out here in the states, and I know you're doing a couple of dates um, uh, while you're here. Are you planning on being here for for a little while? Yeah, we're we're on tour, um, kicking off tonight at the the Troubadour in LA, and we're here for about a fortnight, um, uh, doing gigs up and down the West Coast. Great, and it's the perfect place for you to be, obviously, on the West Coast singing these songs. Yeah, it seems like a, a home <laughs> from home, but a little cheeky for a, a Scottish band to be perhaps doing this type of music over here. It's interesting, you know, we've had the Thrills here a couple of times who, are, as you know, are from, from Dublin in, in Ireland, and they also have that West Coast sensibility. I'm just wondering what's, uh, what's in the water over in, in Dublin and, and Glasgow that you guys are uh, uh, making these records and now all of a sudden coming over here and playing them as well. I'm really happy that you're here. The show is tonight, KCRW Presents Cosmic Rough Riders at the Troubadour. The Zootons open as well. I'm going to throw it back to you. We've got about uh, 14 minutes left, I'm guessing, and I know you've got an electric set, so let's see how many of the songs we can, uh, we can cram in. And uh, we'll come back. We'll give away some tickets to that show tonight. Um, okay, I'll throw it back to you guys. Cosmic Rough Riders on One Becomes Eclectic. Okay, um, this song is called For a Smile. <laughs> Technical problem there. You okay? Cool. Sorry about that. If only for 
unfortunately I started the wrong song there. Got a different set list. <laughs> Need to apologise to our drummer for that. Sorry, Mark. Now, uh, this song, I think, <laughs> is definitely called The Need to Fly. Uh, songs today are taken from our new album which is called Too Close to See Far and it's out on 429 Records um, this this next song is, uh, will be our last song I've uh, probably just got time to say that uh, if you need to find out anything more about the band and where we're playing on this uh, or future American tours you can visit us at www.cosmicroughriders.com this tune is called Because You Can't be 
morning becomes eclectic at 89.9 KCIW. And our guests in studio this morning, Cosmic Rough Riders. They're from Glasgow, but they sound like they would have liked to have grown up here in L.A. They, they're going to be here tonight, though. You can catch them in concert tonight at the Troubadour. And I do believe that show is pretty close to sold out. So if you're thinking about tickets, you might want to uh, get on the phone right now, although we are going to give some away in just a few moments' time. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Cheers, Thank you. Thanks for having us here. Uh, I know we've been talking about this uh, with Dougie since last October, so uh, f- finally we, we ma- managed yeah. to make it happen. And um, enjoy your, your stay out here. Have a good time. We'll see you tonight up at the Troubadour. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. Cool. Uh, again, it's uh, Cosmic Rough Riders on Morning Becomes Eclectic. My thanks to the band as well as their manager, Dougie Sunis, and to Crystal Ann Lee at uh, Michelle Clark Promotion. Jason Warmer was our engineer at The Village today assisted by Jared Nugent and Ron Higgins was the band's engineer. Jennifer Jensen and Jason Georges were our web video producers. Special thanks to Mario Diaz and Jeff Greenberg, Jessica Shapiro and Paul Shapiro, production assistants today. Ariana Morgenstern is the producer of Morning Becomes Eclectic. Now, tomorrow we have a very special uh, segment coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. It will be part one of our interview with Neil Young that I did when he was in town just a couple of weeks ago. Part two will be coming up on the uh, Thursday edition of Morning Becomes Eclectic. So first part tomorrow at around about 11.15 in the morning. I'm Nick Harcourt, your host. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate your company on Morning Becomes Eclectic. It is 89.9 KCRW in Santa Monica, KCRI in the Palm Springs, KCRY Mojave in the Ato- and the Antelope Valley at 88.1, and KCRU Oxnard Ventura, KCRW is subscriber-supported radio, hand-picked music and NPR news, morning, noon, and night, webcasting all news, all music, and KCRW at kcrw.com. Shooting. Hey guys, we're rolling yet. Yeah, let's record that last song. Should I introduce it? Whatever you'd like. Yeah. All I can say is sorry. It's no tic-tac on the, the sheet. Huh? Someone just said it was a bad idea. I know. If I forgot to tick it. Yeah. All right, mate. This tune is called Now That You Know. Okay, this is called Now That You Know. (laughs) 